All right, guys. So welcome to another video, which is a late night video. Now we've been doing this quite often, but that's when most of the interesting ports and ROMs are releasing. Well, this time we have an OxygenOS port for the Poco X3 Pro. There's nothing new about it, but there are a lot of things that are interesting. First things first, this is based on the OnePlus 10 Pro. So you do get the latest version of Oxygen OS, and it is also Android 12 with May security patch. So it's going to be very, very interesting. And in today's video, we're going to install it and we'll have a small sneak peek into it. Tomorrow, probably I'll do a quick review and maybe a gaming review if it is worth gaming. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. And we have a giveaway going on for which we've already announced two winners. The link is mentioned in the description. So please go ahead and click on the link and participate in the giveaway. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now, this is for Poco X3 Pro YU and Vima Android version 12. Build date is today. That is the 18th of May 2022. Based on the OnePlus 10 Pro 5G, and this is the Oxygen OS version. May security patch. It has added refresh rate for global RR implementation. There is a full change log, which of course we're not going to go through. It does include G apps, which is a good thing. You need to have 12.0 firmware and the flashing guide is something that we're going to show you in this particular video. So there are a few prerequisites as always. And on a side note, this is the latest pixel experience, which was released today as well. I was going to review it, but maybe after the oxygen OS video, I'll go ahead and review it. Anyways, coming back to our topic, you need to make sure that you have more than 50% battery on your Poco X3 Pro. You need to make sure that your device is unlocked with a custom recovery like TWRP installed. You need the firmware file and the ROM file and you should be good to go. DFE, Majisk, all those things are something that is completely up to you and you can decide if you want to flash those or not. Now, once you've taken care of all of those requirements, you need to have your files in the internal storage or like me on a USB pen drive as I do it in every video. Now you do need to go to your lock screen settings and remove all the lock screen password security. And you also need to remove your Gmail. And if you're on MI UI, you need to remove your MI account and reboot the device once. Now, once you've taken care of absolutely everything, the last and the most important bit, your data is the most important thing on your smartphone. So make sure you back up everything because we're going to do a clean install and that deletes everything on your phone. Now we are ready to flash. So let the flashing begin. We're going to reboot and we go to recovery for which we'll have to press and hold volume up in power till the time you see the Poco logo over here. Okay. All right. Now, before we flash this ROM, you need to ensure that you have decrypted storage. In case you don't have decrypted storage, you might have issues flashing this particular ROM. So if your storage is encrypted, make sure you copy the ROM file somewhere else, you know, decrypt it by formatting data and reboot into recovery and then copy the file over here. I've just decrypted the storage and I'm going to wipe everything, including internal storage. I'm not going to wipe metadata, of course. Now I'm wiping internal because I'm having my files on the pen drive. So you do things as per your location of the file. And we're going to select the OTG over here. And first we will select the firmware for YU and then this particular custom ROM. So swipe to confirm flash. Now this will take anywhere between 45 seconds to a couple of minutes to flash. So please be patient while that happens. Now, as you can see, it is mentioned over here as well. Make sure you have decrypted storage. Otherwise the flashing will fail. So please be mindful of that. All right. Now, once you're on this particular screen, you can ignore these errors. You can see that it says script was succeeded. So go to wipe, select format data once again and type in yes. And then we're just about ready to boot. So we will click on reboot system. Now, of course, this is a port. This is a, sort of a custom ROM for the Poco X3 Pro. It should take anywhere between 30 seconds to a couple of minutes for the first boot. So let's wait for the phone to boot up. We will skip the setup part and then we can play around and I can show you what exactly does a OnePlus 10 Pro operating system look like on the Poco X3 Pro. Let's wait for the phone to boot up. All right, so just like that, we are on the home screen. I really hope uh, it is clearly visible now because throughout the setup, the brightness on this particular ROM was extremely low and we're getting some tips on how to go about using this operating system. Now, of course, this ROM has just been flashed and this is a port. 
so we have to give it some time to settle down so we are definitely not going to judge this rom right now but by tomorrow we will have a quick review about it and if you go to about device you do get a glimpse of what exactly the latest version of uh, you know oxygen os for the oneplus 10 pro looks like now this is of course android version 12 that we have over here and if you go to status you have all the information you have storage device name it does say oneplus 10 pro it says that it is updated if you actually go to uh display and brightness over here nature tone display i am not sure if all these features are working or not that is something that will have to be tested so it does say there is high or standard refresh rate option so looks pretty fluid and pretty you know smooth to me it is very very interesting to have the latest version of oneplus os that is oxygen os on the poco x3 pro and as you can see there's not much bloatware in fact uh, there is no camera application as well so whatever you see are pre-installed applications and uh, yeah very very interesting stuff i will go ahead and give it a try use it till tomorrow morning probably try some games and let you know what exactly the experience is like so stay tuned and subscribe if you've not until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye